so today I am packing, getting ready to go on my next ship and I thought I would make a little packing tips video for you. Um, now I've been working on ships for more than 12 years, I've done an awful lot of suitcases, packed an awful lot and it's never easy, it's still not easy, but I have learned a few tips and tricks along the way that I thought might be useful so I thought I'd make a video and show you some of the stuff. Some will be relevant, some won't, a lot of it's for girls to be honest um, as well, but you might find something useful in here so I hope you enjoy. Basically, what I do with packing is I do it well in advance. Um, I did all this, this is a week before I'm leaving. I'll get everything ready, have the suitcase out, get every single little section of different things that I'm going to pack, have them all ready outside the suitcase, ready to go. Uh, and the reason for this is you can physically see what you've got. You can kind of get a better idea if it's going to fit or not. And then later on you'll find out if there's anything that you don't want anymore, you don't need anymore, and you can take out things here and there. Um, now I'm going to be on my next ship for about 4 months and 12 days and it's going to have two different itineraries. We're going to start off um, in hot places for the first three weeks or so and then we're going to be in Canada, New England where it's a bit more unreliable and it can be cool or hot. So the trick to packing for different, um, for different temperatures is layers. Cardigans, little vests, t-shirts, stuff like that. Um, so it's, this is more about things to pack. Um, and things you might not have thought about, um, as well as just the, f the physical packing, I'm sure you can do it better. But this is a whole bunch of tips. So basically, my mum showed me this when I was little, put your shoes in first, put them all around the outside of your suitcase. This is a good tip that I still do, um, because it keeps it sturdy, it keeps it against uh, the shape. And then what you do is you put your underwear, your socks and your, um, your panties and such like, put them inside, inside your shoes. Um, and then it uses up the space really well. So this is what I've done first. I've got all kinds of shoes. I've got my, my gym shoes, I've got my walking shoes, my flip-flops, my heels for work, uh, my flat shoes for running around during the day. Um, and then all uh, with your shoes, wear your biggest, heaviest, clunkiest, but also most comfortable ones, wear them on the plane. So I have a pair of kind of thick trainers that are like walking shoes. Uh, that's what I'm wearing on the plane because they're comfortable and they're more heavy than my gym ones. Um, so inside here, I've got the shoes and socks, I've got the shoes, the socks and panties are inside them. I've got some underwear here, um, that's my old umbrella. Some extra tips, um, ships are all about space, you're not going to have much space. So these are things that I've discovered are really good to take, little hooks, they're very light, they're tiny, you can put them on the back of your cupboard and then you can hang other clothes, jewellery, belts, scarves, bags, whatever you want, a couple of these sort of things. Um, also. Um, these these little hooks are for one of those shoe racks that you can hang up on the back of your coat, uh, of your um, wardrobe. And I have my, my shoe rack thing on the ship already because we were there before. So it's there, put that on. You can buy these in most of, um, loads of uh, convenience stores, big supermarkets for a few dollars. They're very cheap. I would recommend them. They save you tons of space. So other things, clothes. Now you've got different sections, depends where you're going. I'm just going to literally pack as we go here. I've got swimming stuff, I've got sarongs, sarongs you can use on the beach, you can use them um, as a throw on your bed if you want to make it a little bit more homely. I've got a scarf, a small one because it's going to be colder, and then we've got pajamas, pop them in here, and I've got all my gym stuff, don't dig too much but take enough, um, I'm planning on going to the gym, so I've got a couple of nice things here, I've got some comfy uh, pants here, which are what I would wear in my cabin if I'm just kind of hanging out. Um, <coughs> got some skirts, don't take too many. Um, you've got bras and things like that here. Um, I've got some t-shirts. These are for wearing out in port um, or on the ship going to the crew bar of an evening. Um, a few of them, again, not too many because um, you don't want to pack too much and once you put it all together like this as I said there's better ways to put this in but this gives you an idea um, of kind of how much you can fit in and then pop it in there now at the moment I work as a singer on the ship so I need dresses for work um, I've got my formal dresses here I'm taking two this time which is very reserved for me and that's because most of the cruises will have her only a week um, and the first one will be three weeks, um, but there's only three formal nights, so I'll, I'll use one again. And then I've got um, stage clothes, 
Again, this is very, restric uh, very restrained for me. Normally I have more. Um, but as I said, most of the cruises are only one week. So performance-wise, I'm packing for a week this time. Um, if you can do that, that saves you space. It depends on what your job is. You might have, if you've got a, a uniform, it's a lot easier. Um, I don't. I have to take my own clothes and wear smart casual stuff during the day as well. So I have some smart casual tops here. And I've got thin material, nice and small. And also this stuff can be layered. So I can wear this in the cold weather or the hot weather. And just add a cardigan, add a jumper, add a hoodie or take it off. And that makes that a bit easier there as well. So, we're getting there with this stuff. Got a couple of little vest t-shirts to put underneath things. One pair of shorts, won't need too many of them. Not too much sunshine, um, but there will be for a bit. And then I'll put most of that, that's in here. That's the, the bulk of my clothes now. And I'll get the other ones, fit them in on the other side as well. Let's finish up the clothes section. So jeans, things, stuff like that, I'm going to wear one pair with me, the heaviest uh, ones. I've got a pair of skinny jeans with me, a pair of short ones, and because I have to wear smart casual stuff around the ship, I've got one pair of just general sort of black slacks. That's it for that. And another smart casual sort of t-shirt. Those in there. And then, as I mentioned, layering. I'm going to be wearing, um, I've already got my, my stuff ready. I always get my stuff for the airport ready early as well. Jeans, t-shirt, socks, everything's ready there. And I'm going to have a hoodie and then a light jacket. Um, and that's it. That's ready. And so the things I'm taking, because it's going to be rainy, I've got a light shower jacket here, which is very light and it crumples up small. It doesn't crease, it's easy. And then also for layering, I've got one little black shrug thing I can put over dresses or vests. And it's black so it matches everything. I've got one pink one because I wear a lot of pink so it matches most things. And one black cardigan. That's it. Nice and small. Doesn't take up too much space. It's pretty light. Um, if I run low on space, I could also put one of those on on the airport as well and layer it up a little bit more. So there's a little bit less to pack if I need to. Then I've got a, a couple of casual dresses. Uh, this is daytime on the ship, uh, where to be a little bit smart, um, or going out of port, easy peasy. And then the other stuff, now this is really what I want to kind of give tips on, is the stuff that you may or may not think about. <coughs> I'm performing, put a couple of things in here, nice sort ladies, you probably want hair curlers, hair straighteners, now I'm taking my curlers in my suitcase because um, I'm not going to use them straight away. My straighteners I'm going to be using on the way over. You, now you'll stay in the hotel the night before you join the ship and um, so I make it easy by having everything that I will possibly need before I'm unpacked on the ship I keep with me um, on the airport. So I have my carry-on backpack here. This normally does everything. It's already mostly packed um, except from my laptop and things. So I've got my sunglasses are in here. They're ready to go. I've got my straighteners in here, because I've got ones for the UK, ones for the US. Ladies, this is a good tip, sometimes the voltages don't like each other. One of mine uh, kind of exploded once. So I have one for home if you're in Europe, and a different one for on the ship in the US. I've got a book with me, then I'm going to be reading on the way over. And, let's see. I also have in here, I've got underwear for on the way over, I've got socks to change into. I've got my beautiful um, flight socks and mask and earplugs from my last plane ride. And that's basically going to be on my person, so it's very easy. Um, I bought a new umbrella, but I can't. it's going to go in here. And then apart from that, the, the backpack for the plane is last minute stuff. And also it's the expensive stuff. That's where my laptop, my iPad and my phone and my camera are going to be right there beside me because if for any reason this gets lost and I don't have it for a few days I've got the expensive stuff, I've got the most important stuff and also in there I'll make sure I have overnight things, anything that I'll need in the hotel which is just minimum toiletries and um, an extra t-shirt and underwear and stuff to wear the next morning so nice and easy and if you want PJs put them in there as well. Now you want to be comfortable on the ship so I bring slippers 
They can leave them at the end of the contract if you want, you can do that, you can buy stuff on the way, extra tips. Um, nail stuff, now I like these little um, sort of see-through small bags because they, they don't weigh anything, they don't take up space. Um, I've put together a few of my favourite colours of nail varnish at the moment, they'll be going in there, I'm not taking everything, make it simple. Also you have, um, there's loads of girls on the ship, you can swap things like that around or you can buy new ones. This is just to make things a little bit easier. <coughs> Excuse me. Other things to take. Um, I love reading, working on stuff. We're going to uh, French Canada this time, so I've got my French dictionary there, which I'll use a lot. Um, this booklet that I'm looking into. But I'm not taking much. They have libraries on the ship. Uh, in the crew areas, there's good libraries. And also the guest areas, which you can often use as well. There's loads of books, so don't take a lot. If you have a Kindle, take your Kindle. Um, I always take mine with me. It will be in the backpack on my body with me, though, because it's one of the more expensive items. Um, other things, jewellery. I like sort of cheap costume jewellery. I put together everything. This is another reason to put all the stuff out first, is put that, I put all that out, then I match my jewellery to my clothes. You can visually see it. So that's that. That's going to go in there. Um, my name badges, if you've already been working on the ship, um, you can just put your name badge right in there. Um, now this is something that I like to do, um, which I found served me well over the years. This is um, bringing cards on the ship. Now when it's someone's birthday on the ship, people don't know about it in advance. You often just meet people. And so basically what I always do is I buy a bunch of birthday cards and thank you cards and ones that are kind of just, ju this one says just for you, the one says thank you. And I bring these with me. Um, it doesn't cost that much. It doesn't weigh that much, but then you've got this on the ship, and if it is someone's birthday that you find out, oh, hang on, it's my, my teammate's birthday, oh, are we in port? No, we're, not, we're at sea for three days. Instead of making, you could make a card, or just bring some with you and you've got them ready. Um, I do that and I find people appreciate it. Uh, I do the same at Christmas, if I can buy Christmas cards before going on the ship, and if not, find them in port somewhere. It's just a little extra tip. Now, another thing, talking about the space stuff, um, I love these hanging thingies. This one's getting a bit ratty, but it's still good. Um, this is where I'll put my underwear stuff. This is tights, panties, socks will all fit in this. It's really small, makes your life easy. Um, this I put jewellery on. You can buy these for a couple of bucks. Um, and you can hang jewellery off them, scarves, belts, bags, whatever you have a lot of. I'm using this for all this jewellery. It fits perfectly on here. That saves some space as well. Um, another thing to take medicine. <coughs> now, you, you do have access to doctors on the ship. Um, they're normally very good. If you need anything, they're there. Um, however, if there's stuff that you know that you use a lot at home, or stuff that you know um, or you might suspect might be more difficult to get when you're away, or sometimes it's a lot more expensive in other countries than at home uh, for you, then take it with you. Um, so I bring things like, I have Vicks vapor rub. I have stuff to do with my throat and taking care of getting a cold or something that I just always have on me just in case I need it. I also have a, this is a little filling kit in case you need any emergency dental stuff. Um, I'm into this neti pot stuff at the moment uh, where you rinse your sinuses, it's very good for you so I bring a bunch of these. Um, what else? I gargle with aspirin, it's good for your throat so I bring that. Um, and also I have hay fever sometimes so I always bring some allergy medicine just in case I need that um, and if there's anything that you you use from your own doctor um, allergy wise or inhalers or if you're on the pill or anything like that it's it's just smart to get it before you leave home so that's all of my stuff like that in here um, the next thing and the big thing is toiletries now this is completely up to you what you do of course um, because you could go crazy with this. Um, you could take everything, you could take nothing. Um, you will be in port very soon after you get on the ship probably, so it's not going to be the end of the world. You will probably have enough stuff. If not, knock on your neighbor's door, they'll lend you some shampoo. It's easy. But what I do, um, I will take some stuff with me. Um, if there's things that I particularly like, um, like I have a couple of Elemis things I bought on the ship that I like, I bring a few little baby toothpastes to get me started. Um, if there's any brands that I like at home or things that I've bought that are expensive that I don't want to replace when I already have them, like I have some Clinique face stuff here. 
um, then that just makes it easy. Um, but you don't need everything, don't go crazy, don't bring giant bottles of shampoo because it's just a waste of space. But if you have a few bits and pieces that get you started the first few days, um, it helps, it makes it easier for that. Um, it also saves you money having to just buy something straight away and also you, you can take time and choose what you want rather than buying you know the one thing that's available in the one clothes shop you can take your time and the other thing that I find that taking some toiletries is good for is the weight this weighs a kilo or so I would say um, and the good thing about that is it's using up a kilo of my luggage allowance now um, but when I come home from the ship I won't be bringing it home I'll either have used it all or if I don't I'll give it away to friends before I leave the ship and so what that means what the good thing about that means is that then you've got that extra kilo, at least, a couple of pounds, whatever, um, that you will have at the end of your contract, the same as the cards. You won't have them anymore, you know, the medicines you might use up. And so this means that you'll have a little bit of leeway later on um, for, <coughs> for bringing some souvenirs home. Because you're going to want to buy some stuff. This skirt I bought in Guatemala, I got things from everywhere, and it's lovely to buy things when you're away. So bringing something that you know you won't take home sort of allows for that a uh, little bit more souvenir shopping. A couple more things. Um, I drink water all the time. I walk around the ship with it in my hand. This was cute, so I've got my own water bottle. I don't have to go look around for one. It's already there. Um, other things to make things homely, along with jewellery. The other one was uh, necklaces and bracelets. These are my earrings. Don't take up too much space. These could also go in your hand luggage if you have space. Um, I put them in the, the main luggage if they fit um, because they're not expensive but um, it just kind of is shuffling around your space. Um, other things to remember are you're going to be going out in port and seeing different places and things so it's useful to have bags. I have my backpack that I have on me that I take out with me that'll be my, my hand luggage and that will be if I go out in port and I'm doing anything bigger if I'm going for a picnic or to the beach when I need more stuff or having my laptop and everything take the big bag Apart from that, I've got this, folds up nice and small, it's a nice little sort of, it goes over your, over your body sideways bag, um, and it's pretty, so I'll have that one with me for going out and about for pretty things, or when I don't need too much, and it's really small. I've got a little handbag for on the ship, I'm taking this one this time, it's black and sparkly, it matches all my dresses, it's really small for formal nights, walking around the ship, anything like that. Um, my last thing that I always take are some photos. Um, now your cabin is going to be kind of empty blank canvas and so you want to make it yours. And I find the best way to do that is to bring a little bit of home with you. So um, my husband Nick and I got married recently so we've got um, some wedding pictures, I've got some pictures of family and friends, um, a few bigger pictures we took on the ship with family, some memories and then I also have I love black and white pictures and I have a few of these that I picked up from around the world and I'll place these around the top of my cabin in different places and then so it kind of with the, the personal photos and with these it makes it as soon as they're up is my cabin and we're home and that's it. So this is very small, it doesn't take up much space, I've been pretty, pretty restrained this time, um, more than usual. I'm trying to get better and um, so basically that's it so I've got all my stuff in one suitcase here I was kind of worried if this would work or not but it seems to be working this doesn't want to close and so that's it I've got four and a half months worth of stuff in this one suitcase here I'm gonna close it all up so you can see it actually fits the, the best thing to do is always check your itinerary, make sure you know where you're going, when you're going there, um, so that you can plan the clothes that you need for the weather, but also um, what you're going to need for your job. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I've borrowed my parents' scales here. Just going to put this on, see what the damage is.
Ho. Nice. Um, it says 21 kilograms. Uh, I've got an allowance of 23. So that's great. If we need any last minute things, i still got two kilograms to go. That's all ready. That's it. And that's how I pack for a contract away on a ship. I hope some of that was helpful for you. See you later.